Hi guys, here with my June TBR. I had quite a large TBR for May, which I didn't get finished. So rather than do my regular TBR jar and pick out books that I'm going to read for Book Bingo and my 1001 book lists, I'm just going to keep on going with these. Uh, I thought rather than put extra pressure on myself, I would do that instead because I already have, along with these books, uh, a few others to read also. I also have as many of the Rick Ryden books which are here, just here in the Percy Jackson series. I've only read the first one of those so far so I'm up to Sea of Monsters so hopefully I'll also be able to get a few of those read. I had a really good reading month in May but I just felt like because I didn't get a lot done from my TBR I felt quite a bit of pressure so I thought I'm not going to add to the pressure by having these books on my TBR plus another half a dozen as well as the couple of that I'm also going to be reading as well. I also have two that I have started from my May TBR the first being Half Bad by Sally Green for the uh, the bout of books readathon in May. I read the first 90 pages of this. I powered right through it, really enjoyed it and I was kind of in a slump once I'd finished the bout of books. I listened to a few audios and I think I read a couple of ebooks but it took me about a week and a half to get back into reading so I haven't actually picked this one back up. So I am hoping to finish it in June because I really did enjoy what I had read of it. Uh, so yeah I'm Continue on with this one. I also have started and I'm going to about the first 50 pages of The Gunslinger, which is the first book in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. I didn't expect it to be exactly like his horror books, which I've read a few of, but it was quite it's quite different from what I thought it was going to be. I've realised that I've been reading quite a bit of fantasy and science fiction this year, which I am quite enjoying. It's not a genre that I read a lot of. So I am interested to see where this series is going. I think there's like seven books in the series. So <laughs> at least I've started with the smallest one. But I will be continuing on with that in June as well. I also have a couple more books. And I think I have actually mentioned this one before. It's Norwegian by Night by Derek B. Miller. I believe this is his first book. This is about uh, Sheldon Horowitz, who is an 82-year-old uh, ex-Marine. I believe he's been recently widowed and he's moved to Oslo in Norway with his granddaughter and her husband. He doesn't speak the language. He witnesses a murder and goes on the run with the woman's six-year-old son. So he's being chased by the Norwegian police and also I believe it's the Bulgarian Mafia perhaps. Uh, they can't speak with each other because they don't speak the same language but I think from the sounds of it it's just going to be them having to rely on each other to survive and I think they'll end up being this beautiful relationship that develops between them and I guess heals them in a way. I heard good things about it on the first Tuesday book club so I am looking forward to reading that. Um, and I think I did actually mention last time you know apart from James Bond who is probably like 82 if we were putting him in real life um, you know when do you get like an old dude as your hero so I'm interested to see how they sort of deal with the action parts of this as well I mean I don't know I guess if you're a marine you're always a marine so you're always like oh! but we'll find out I'm sure <laughs> Next up is Shadow Spell, which is book two of the O'Dwyer trilogy by Nora Roberts. I was so excited when this finally came out in April, and I've only just gotten it like a month later from work. Um, it's continuing the trilogy. I guess, I mean, I did enjoy the first book. It's not my favourite series of her so far. I love that it's set in Ireland because I do love Ireland and everything Irish. But 
even there wasn't a lot of action in the first book and I think I guess she's setting the story up a little bit more we were getting to know the characters but nothing too in depth so I'm hoping that we'll get a little bit more background on uh, the characters and maybe some more action this one is the cousin Connor and uh, Mira Quinn I believe it is who is their family friend so it's their romance as well as them going up against the big bad from the first book but obviously the third book will deal with the um, I guess they'll finish off the big bad who am I killing who am I killing I'm not killing anyone kidding it's a Nora Roberts so it's gonna be happy ever after and finally for June I also have a butt ton of graphic novels um, <laughs> these aren't even all of them <laughs> during the bout of books there were quite a few people that were reading both Sweet Tooth by Jeff Lemire and Saga by Brian K Vaughan and I was like how do I not know anything about these I did some Google I did some Goodreads and I went mm, sounds quite good this first one uh, is basically this is <laughs> camera work Gus uh, they live in I'm guessing it's a post apocalyptic world and all the kids that are born now are born half human and in the case of Gus half deer or fawn um, and I'm kind of guessing it's just about them surviving uh, and I think from flicking through it uh, there's people that are after them so I mean I don't really know much about this at all but I'm happy about that I kind of just want to go into it with an open mind and see what it's about uh, same again with I've got the first two volumes of Saga here I don't know a lot about them uh, basically there's an intergalactic space war and these two guys or <laughs> there's a guy and a girl on the front cover uh, from different species and they've just had a baby as well so um, I guess I'll just see where this takes me as well I've sort of had a little bit of a flick through and it does seem quite interesting I'm enjoying the illustrations I love Brian K Vaughan Pride of Baghdad was sort of one of the first graphic novels that I that got me back into reading them again and I just absolutely love that so I am expecting that I will love Saga as well I also have only one of the Walking Dead volumes with me at the moment this is number 11 so I think they're about up to 19 now Fear the Hunters is where I'm up to so I'm really looking forward to getting back into this world I know it's quite a bit different from the TV series and I think maybe that bothers some people but I actually don't mind it because it just basically means that there's more Walking Dead for me to discover I really like um, both the TV series and the graphic novel series and where they're taking things um, and it will be interesting once I've finished reading the I think it's about eight or nine volumes that I need to read uh, who's left alive who has uh, been eaten by zombies yeah so I am just really looking forward to and it's I didn't realize but I haven't read any new Walking Dead since like 2012 I don't know how it happened but that's why I now have like eight volumes to catch up on so that's it for my June TBR I'm already listening to a couple of audios that aren't on my um, TBR namely Linger by Maggie Stiefvater and I also have a, another Jessica Shervington to read as well and uh, yeah we'll see how we go let me know if you've read any of these I know a lot of people have read these but let me know what you thought of them comment below tell me what you're reading as well leave me a link to your video and I'll check it out until next time happy reading bye ebooks